Hi friends, David here from Above AVL and Learn Stage Lighting. Today, we're gonna to talk about everybody's favorite topic, function keys. Let's dive in. Okay, so on an Onyx console, whether in fact here in front of an NX4 side by side with an NX1, you've got function keys, right? On my NX1, which I'm gonna be demonstrating on, they're right here. They're technically multi-function keys, but we've got them in the F key mode. Similarly, if you are on a PC, you have these right here, these sidebar view, uh, these sidebar buttons, and those are also technically function keys, though they're not a physical function key, they're a key, right? On the, the big console, the NX4 here, great console, amazing price point. We've got function keys here along the side of the playbacks. And then across the top, they're labeled F1 through F9. NX2 has them uh, above the top, F1 to F9. These are the keys that so many people with these consoles go, you know, those keys don't do anything, or they just do some random stuff, or we don't pay any attention to them. And I would say, use them, label them, and love them, okay? Here are some of my top things that you should put on these F keys. So if you're on a console, you can just hit edit and hit the F key. As long as your workspace is unlocked, when you do that and hit the F key, it will take you straight to it in the software. If you are on a computer as well, you might see here we're in the menu system in sidebar or function key assignments, okay? You get to it the same way. It's just a little quicker to hold the key and go to the spot, right? Um, and of course, NX1 plus NXK, slightly out of frame here, is a great combo for that. These 10 function keys right now are completely blank on this NX1. So what do you put on them or what makes sense to put on these in order to make your life easier? It's gonna depend console by console and kind of it's up to your interpretation as the programmer. But if you don't use these, you're definitely missing out and you're definitely selling yourself short. So what kind of things can you put on these keys? First of all, you can put any view on a function key. So if you want a key to hit, because that's typically faster than a touch screen, that throws you to a different view, you just select it, and then that's always on that button. It's very quick, very tactile, very easy. I would say views are the probably about the last thing that I stick on a button, but it can be done, right? Next we have individual windows, same kind of thing. The bottom half is where this gets to be really, really fun. Okay, so we've got actions here, and there's a whole list of actions. Now let me tell you, there is some real good stuff in actions. Like, for example, you know, a lot of the first kind of row of keys that are in here are things that are on your keypad. So if you have an NX Touch with your NX1, you should. If you don't, get it from aboveavl.com. In fact, if you use Onyx at all on any system, get yourself an NXK. It is so worth the money. We actually have another video on here on how to use it with a laptop to remote focus anywhere in a room. Super cool, super helpful, saves me a lot of time, saves me a lot of stress. Okay, so with that being said, then we go ahead and have some more exciting stuff. Okay, so first we kind of have all these keys and all of these first keys are, you know, they're all on your keypads already. So there's typically not a need to do it as function keys, though there are a few, such as load at, load load. There's one, I believe, for record, enter, et cetera. So that can be helpful. However, down at the bottom, we have the ability to park fixture selection, unpark. So if you do a lot of parking and unparking, that can be helpful. Lamping on and off. You got fixtures with lamps and then uh, slice navigation mode and the quick view, which on the NX1 is this little key with the finger that looks like this. Playback control. Okay, this is this is good stuff. So this section is gonna give you the ability to move around banks, hit the beep button, select different faders, um, etc. There's even a spot for snapshot, which is a button on the consoles that does nothing. Cueless options is another great one. If you go to that a lot, you can boom have a button to get there fast. Next, we have parameter groups. I love this. Okay, so you can lay out your NX1, and I do it this way on the NX1, where I do intensity, pan, tilt, color, gobo, and then either beam or framing. And then on the other side, I do uh, the exact opposite, which shows up when you select a fixture, which is effects, effects, timing, fanning, grouping, rate right? You can put all those on function keys, um, how stinking cool. And so back to commands. Um, 
You also, so you can get a quick, you know, just throws your encoder to those. And I personally, as someone whose first moving head console was the hog, okay, I really, really, really like having hard keys for my different parameter groups for intensity, pan, tilt, color, gobo, etc. Okay, that's something that, you know, I programmed hogs probably for a solid 10 years. That was my primary console. And I'm so used to having those on hard buttons. I like it a lot. I think it makes me faster. I like it better even than the NX4 has a little touch screen where you can get to the parameter groups. The little touch screen's nice, but I really personally like it on a hard key. That's me. Okay, next, channel resolutions. So when you spin your encoder wheels, okay, um, in Onyx, the resolution by default is dynamic. Okay, you can change that. Um, and the reason why you want to change that sometimes is if you're turning it and it moves too much for what you're trying to do, or it moves too little, okay? It's, it's supposed to sense how you want it to move, but sometimes it just, maybe it's that the human doesn't work as well as the console should, but occasionally I feel the need to switch it, okay? You can set those to any of the resolutions. Eight being the most coarse, meaning the, the you move the encoder and the light moves the most. 16 being the finest, or I think it might even go above 16. Um, no, it doesn't go, it goes 16 being the totally, you know, as fine as it goes. That can also be really helpful if you're trying to adjust th something super, super fine, but you were just moving it kind of coarse. Um, the dynamic doesn't always pick up on that so quickly, and it can be easier to just snap it into 16. You know, then you can spin the wheel a lot and have very finite adjustments in the light itself. Channel visualization, boom. You know, you can do things like pop things up and down, change some of the fanning options. I personally don't use these. Then we have fixtures, groups, and presets. Yes, you can fire and select groups and presets from the function keys in Onyx. This can be super helpful if there's, you know, a couple groups that you use all the time in your programming you can stick them on an F key and then you don't even have to have groups up on your window. You just select the F key and, and you never have to have groups on your window. How stinking cool is that? Saves you space, lets you have different stuff on your windows and be able to work quickly and more effectively. Last but not least, banks. So when you wanna switch banks in Onyx to switch between different fader positions, there's obviously a bank up and down and you can also hit bank and then hit the number and hit enter. Like I just went to 32. If you have a few banks that you've named in your show that you wanna be able to hop between very quickly and not necessarily in numerical order, you can put it on an F key. How awesome is that? And so not only can you put every window in the show, every view, whatever you want, I hope today you learned a few other things that you can put on F keys in Onyx. I truly do believe that if you use these tools that we've taught today, it's going to help you become a better programmer and build better lighting in Onyx, which is what we're all trying to do. So if that resonates with you, hop over to Learn Stage Lighting Labs because we detail in video every feature and different use cases for using Onyx and show you how to get it done. You, not only that, but you can try it out for free, get access to all our videos and also our support in our forums. And then of course, if you're in the US when you need to buy consoles, when you need wings, Onyx gear, lights, audio or video, come to us above AVL. We wanna treat you fairly, we wanna take care of you, we wanna quote you a personalized price and we wanna earn your business for the next decades to come. If that sounds good, I'll see you there. Thanks.